communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Welcome to Millennium TV 24. This is Money Talks. I am your host, Cynthia Abbott, your financial advisor, your financial coach, as we continue our journey to financial freedom. But during this holiday season, we want to, we want to make sure that you focus on taking care of yourself, protecting your wealth, protecting your loved ones and staying safe. So today's show, let's get right into it because it is the holiday season. So why not talk about what's happening? There are good things happening, there are bad things happening, but the holiday seasons, usually it's time for families and friends to come together, have a good time, celebrate one another, you know, reminisce on the old times, on the ones that have passed on, the loved ones, the memories that keep us going, right? Because with uh, most of us, I'm sure most of us has experienced someone in our family, close family that had passed away either before COVID-19 or during COVID-19 and the holidays are usually the hardest time to get through it. But I can tell you that just holding on to those great memories will get you through and having great family and friends, you don't have to be with them if you don't want to. Take your time and grieve if you have to. But let's talk about the scamming that's happening. The, there's so much scamming that's happening and that can ruin one's celebration, one's family get together scammers they work all year round because that's what they do they prey on people they prey on taking advantage of you you know just stealing your identity all around there is so much increase in online payments online shopping web browsing throughout the holidays people are looking for great deals and they are more at risk than any other times to be scammed. So being scammed can mean losing your money. So we talk about making money, but we wanna make sure you don't lose your money during the holiday season. And that can, you know, money that cannot be recovered most of the times. And more seriously, your identity. People are still in identity, like it's on a rise, especially during this pandemic. It's devastating and time consuming. It's misfortunate to even experience it, but you can always get help to protect yourself. And knowing just some common scams during the holidays about what they are, what they look like, it can help you to avoid getting trapped. And let me tell you, it can happen to any of us. 
So how to avoid getting scammed during the holidays? Let's talk about some points as far as what you need to be vigilant of, of what's really happening, the facts that's happening, especially online. There's the gift card scam. Gift card scam because there's supply chain shortage and people this year are looking for special gifts and there are so many scams they're asking you, you know, to order these items with a gift card and then you're out of your money totally. So not using those gift cards to purchase. Instead, use a credit card, not using your debit card use your credit card because the credit card company, the financial institution can actually trace it. And that can help you to recover some or most of your monies, but scammers, they love the gift card. So be very careful. There's no way to recover your monies when you use a gift card, common gift card. Um, some of them include scammers telling people to pay a fee to avoid being in trouble with the government or pretending to be a family member or friend who is in need of some funds for, you know, a sp specific reason from a specific store. So they can actually scam you by using, um, some of the stores that you normally shop at. So just be very vigilant about those gift card scams. Number two, charity scams, the GoFundMe. Be very careful. And let me tell you, they are on a rise right now. Be very careful about who you're, you know, donating money to, because these can take place. Most of the time they take place online or over the phone, but Scammers will actually push people into making donation or trick them by thinking or thanking, sorry, them for a donation, just thanking them in advance for a donation. And because it's the holiday season and you are a giving person and you want to give and you want to help everybody, just be very careful and make sure you check to make sure that company is credible. And I will give you the names of those agencies that you can check to make sure these companies are credible. The other one is the wire transfer with cryptocurrency. There's a lot of scamming going on with cryptocurrency. So be very careful. Also, we have the package delivery scams that you heard about this. It's really true. People are sending you uh, different types of emails saying that your package is being delivered. You click on the link and malware, malware take over. They take a, take your identity, steal your information. So make sure you use the federal communication commission to review these companies that are sending you this information before you open that link. So there are warnings to notify um, you if you actually have been scammed that you can go to the Federal Commu Communication Commission, the FCC, and report these scams because they have the resources to find these scammers and put a stop to them. Text messages sometimes, they look legitimate, don't they? I have received some of those, but I know not to open them. And sometimes they're from international numbers because you've ordered, if you order online and you're expecting your packages, yes, you're thinking, oh yes, this is my confirmation. This is some information about my package. So you click on it. Instead of clicking on that link, Go to the source itself. Let's say you order from Amazon. Go to Amazon, check on your order, track your order from there instead of clicking that link because you're opening up yourself up for identity theft. So please be very careful. The scams may also request money in return for these packages to be delivered, such as custom fees or taxes. 
So you can identify harmful links by checking to see if they're misspelled words in the link. That's a red flag also, such as FedEx.com, make sure it's spelled properly. When you have any doubt, just contact the company that you purchase from directly. You have their phone numbers, you have their actual website, just contact them directly because I want to make sure everybody stays safe and not get scammed. Most people are getting scammed right now, but you don't have to be the next one. Fake gift exchanges. So you shop online, they have these, these gift exchanges. You're supposed to pick a certain number or name and then exchange gift with someone you don't know don't do it just if you're going to buy your loved one a gift and that's been all your money on gift because most people are still paying for the gifts that they purchased last year from 2020 they're still paying for them now and will be paying for them for a few more years so please if you do not have the money do not purchase those gifts because you're setting yourself back and we want you to build your wealth because you can build wealth and you can build up your finances and you can get out of debt so don't allow the holiday shopping the psychology of shopping you know it's the music the sounds and the colors it's the whole psychology of it that get us into those situations where we're overspending and purchasing gifts that are not warranted there's no need for them some people return those gifts you've seen those lines after the holidays they're longer than the lines during the holidays because someone felt like this is not something that i want i don't need it and they return it so why go through the trouble of giving someone something they don't want anyway keep your cash if you want to help someone out give them the cash instead if you have the cash but stay away from swiping that card just to purchase a gift for someone who doesn't really want the gift what they really want is to feel appreciated give them that gratitude just be thankful that we are alive be thankful that we can celebrate another holiday season i could tell you personally for myself growing up as a child I don't remember any gifts. There was no gifts. It was all about family and friends coming together, you know, playing in the, having the holiday play at church and singing in the choir and having just a nice holiday dinner. Uh, there were no gifts. Maybe because I grew up in a third world country, but still, that was the meaning of Christmas for us and I still feel that it should be that way whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, um, Kwanzaa, you know the, the, the gift, the purpose of giving is to give to each other, give love, give love instead of swiping that card. I'll take a quick commercial break and I'll be right back. Stay tuned because I have some solutions for you. Be right back, guys. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 Entertainment LLC at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV.
Welcome back, welcome back as we talk about all the scamming that's happening throughout this holiday as we're trying to be cheerful, we're trying to celebrate one another and just appreciate each other. People are being taken advantage of, taking, you know, um, losing their monies due to the fact that they're being scammed and they're not aware of the scamming. So, I want to give you solutions, though not always, right? My goal is to give you solutions, not just talk about the problems on this show. For more than 100 years, the Better Business Bureau have been helping people find businesses, brands, and charities they can trust. The Council of Better Business Bureau is the umbrella organization for local independent businesses and the Better Business Bureau in the United States, Canada, and Mexico, as well as home to its national and international programs on dispute resolution, advertising review, and industry regulation. So you can always check out a company at the Better Business Bureau to see if they're legit because the Better Business Bureau will give you the facts. When you do your research, go to the Better Business Bureau. I can tell you that you will get the right information about that company so that you can make a decision if you want to do business with that company because they will tell you if that business is credible and then you get the green light so you won't be scammed. So do your research, do the proper research. Don't just Google. I mean, anybody can put something on Google, right? Anybody can write a review. So as we talk about scamming today, I want you to understand these are credible companies that you can use to get the right information. Use the source itself. Now there are people talking about different types of scams. So let's talk about you know, another company that you can use when it comes to finances, financial services, your money, your money matters. You go to, if you were to look into getting, let's say you wanted to get a life insurance and there are so many things online now, right? So what you can do is you decide to use a company, go to AM Best and you can check to see the financial strength of that company. That company, if they have an A plus superior rating, the odds are you're using the right company because they've done the research for you, the real hardcore research that they pay millions of dollars to do to make sure these companies are credible. Then there's another company American Council of Life Insurers. They are the ACLI. They advocate on behalf of 280 member companies, companies dedicated to providing products and services that promote consumers' financial and retirement security. 90 million American families depend on ACLI members for life insurance, annuities, retirement plans, reinsurance, dental, vision, disability, income insurance, and also supplemental benefits. The ACLI represents member companies in state, federal, and international forums for public policy that supports the industry marketplace and the families that rely on life insurers insurers product for peace of mind so check them out check the company do your due diligence through the right source and then you will avoid certain scams also doing your due diligence by checking the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA. FINRA is a nonprofit, non-for-profit organization that's dedicated to investors' protection and market integrity. 
it regulates one critical part of the securities industry. That's the investment industry. Brokerage firms doing business with the public in the United States. FINRA overseen by the SEC. They write rules. They examine, examines for and enforces compliance with FINRA rules and federal securities laws, registers broker dealer personnel, like myself, I'm registered with FINRA, and offer them education and training and inform the investing public. In addition, FINRA provide surveillance and other regulatory services for equities and option markets and other regulatory uh, services. So FINRA also administers a dispute resolution forum for investors and brokerage firms and their registered employees. And for more information, you can always check out FINRA at www.finra.com. Do your due diligence. Another company you can check when you do your due diligence to make sure you're not being scammed is Forbes, Forbes.com. So Forbes actually has, they assess and overlook a number of factors, including high risk events, revenues, expenses, recognition methods, such as SEC, security and exchange commission action and bankruptcy risk as indi indicators of the company's credibility. So they're, they're paying the millions of dollars to do the due diligence for you. So go to their site and check it out. So these factors are used to develop aggressive accounting governance, governance risk numbers. So you have to make sure that when you check these companies, you know that you're using the right sources to see if this company that you're looking to do business with in the financial services arena, that they're legit. Okay. So in saying that, I want to make sure that you know that when it comes to like mutual fund, there is another, um, another site that you can check another company rather Del bar there. There's, they actually provide financial community leading independent experts for evaluating, auditing and rating business practices customer performance, product quality and service. This was launched back in 1976 and they remain consistent and unbiased, provide unbiased evaluation of insurance company, investment companies, registered investment advisors, broker dealers, retirement plan providers, and financial professionals. So, they actually award awards of excellence in the financial community. And you can check them out at delbar.com. So again, we talk about the problems, all the scamming that's going on, but you can protect your money, protect your, your money you work so hard for so that you prevent yourself from being scammed. You can go to these sources directly knowing that if you have this information, you're going to protect yourself before doing business with any company that you may feel is not the right company for you. Once you check out the credibility, you then have the green light to go ahead and do your business with these financial companies because at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the day, being conscious about the psychological factors, right? In spending and saving, it can reduce your stress level knowing that you're doing business with credible companies and you're increasing your buying power and you're protecting your financial security. And I also talk about your financial security with identity theft, right? If you're being scammed, identity theft is on the rise, right? 
So we want to make sure you're protecting your identity by making sure you have some type of identity theft monitoring program that you pay for. It's a very small fee that you pay for on a monthly basis and it can help you to protect your identity, protect your social security number, protect your income, protect your, your address actually, and um, even your social media. When you think about your social media account, your social media account can be hacked. So when you have this in place, this identity theft program in place, and this is something I educate my families about because I am able to assist them with choosing the right identity theft program to protect them and their loved ones. You can protect your, your mailing address, again, your phone number, protect your website if you have a business, protect your business also. And it monitors your credit report. It sends you alert if someone is doing a check on your credit and you are, you are unaware of it, they will send you an alert. You even get a chance to download an app where you get instant alert. Public record monitoring monitors that. Any changes, if somebody's using your identity, it gives you that alert. So anything that has to do with your credit, it monitors for you dark web monitoring it does it all so that's another way of protecting yourself you do the research right with the right firms to check to see if they're legitimate credible companies and then you get the program in place the monitoring to protect your identity and those are some tips for you throughout this holiday that can help to protect you and your loved ones and make sure you have a wonderful, safe, and happy holidays without the stress of thinking that you have lost your money due to any scamming. Thank you for watching Millennium TV 24 in sponsorship with Roku TV, Amazon TV, and Apple TV. Don't forget to download our app on your Android or your iPhone. And also, you can catch the streaming on YouTube. So if you didn't get a chance to watch today, you can watch any day. Like us and subscribe, send us a comment, and I will see you next week. Same time, same place. This is Money Talks. I'm your host, Cynthia Abbott. Thank you for watching. Ah, hoje acho que o